Have you ever felt trapped with a guy who doesn't seem to be moving forward towards more commitment, but you always manage to stay just a little bit longer in case things get better? You catch yourself going through an emotional cycle that goes from hope to anxiety to frustration and round and round again, but you can't manage to walk away in case you might be missing out. Today, I'm going to talk about how to determine if he's capable of prioritizing you and the relationship and ultimately committing or if you need to cut your losses and walk away. The first thing I'd like to say is if you are in the middle of a relationship or a situationship or a confusing thing, you're not even sure how to label with a guy and you're feeling both the excitement and the hope and the possibilities and that you, you think about him all the time or a lot and you feel validated by him at times, but then you also get the feeling that he might be wasting your time, that it's never going to happen, that he may not want commitment, and you're not sure where to place your feelings right now. You want to see where it goes, but at the same time, you also don't have your entire life to waste. This video is for you, and there's nothing wrong with you. You're not dumb. You can be a very smart woman and go through the situation. You're not unworthy. You, you can be very worthy and have sense of confidence, but still not have the skill of deciphering in more practical terms where a guy is going and how to bring about conversations in a healthy way that allow you to get a clear sense of where the relationship might go or if you need to maybe walk away or not waste your time. Now, there are going to be different things that guys will say to you that are important to listen to, but more important than the words will be the actions that follow those words. Now, the first thing a guy who's not serious about a relationship and not serious about you is going to say is, let's just see where this goes. You start connecting, you talk about what might be possible, you ask about relationships, you ask about intentions, and instead of saying, here's what I'm looking for right now, I'm not ready to make that commitment with you because I don't know you well enough, he's going to say, let's just see where this goes. What does that tell you? That tells you that this guy is most likely not thinking about something long-term. It could happen. I mean, you could win the lottery one day, but he's thinking about, let's enjoy the moment. Let's just have fun. Let's see where it goes. Now, if you're someone who is interested in a long-term relationship, I would never advise for you to connect with someone whose expression about the future is, let's just see where this goes. Now, why he might not be able to tell you, I definitely want you because he's getting to know you or I will marry you one day. He should be able to say, here's what I'm going for. And here's what I want with someone. Second thing a guy is going to tell you when you bring about something because eventually the excitement gets more intense you feel more connected more likely than not there's some physical connection maybe even sex at some point and you start feeling wow my heart could be broken if this guy is not serious about this i may be putting a lot of time and energy into someone who may not have my best interests at heart so you bring about the conversation and when you bring about the conversation his line is why do we need to label things why do we need to label things is a cop out for I don't want to talk about my intentions. I simply want to enjoy connecting with you. Why do we want to label things? Because that's how you get to define where you're going. And again, it might be early in your situationship or in your relationship where you're not sure exactly where your unique relationship is going. But again, he should be able to, if he wants something serious and if he's healthy in the pursuit of something serious, here's exactly what I'm looking for. Here's the type of relationship I'm going for. Here's the type of vision I have for that relationship. Here's what I need to figure out if it's going to be you or somebody else. Because at that stage, when you understand that, A, you can see if it works for you or not, and B, you can invest in him accordingly. The biggest challenge I find with awesome, intelligent, beautiful, amazing women who have great things going for them, connect with someone who they feel really intensely for, they start connecting with a guy and investing in the guy based on their emotions, not based on the way the guy shows up in your life. Third thing a guy will say when he is not serious about a relationship or unsure or confused or not sure about you is when you ask a question like, tell me the type of relationship you're seeking. And he's going to say, well, something deep, something serious. So here's the challenge when he says something that big. It could mean anything. It can have a very different meaning from, from the one you're looking for. So what I would say to you right now is if you want a relationship that's serious, you should be able to ask a follow-up question, which is great. You want something serious. I want something serious too. Tell me more about what that means to you. 
when you ask the follow up question, like, what does that mean to you? And it's met with like, what? <laughs> What are you talking about? Or in the ability to describe it, that could mean, not sure for sure it means, but it could mean that he's telling you what you want to hear so he can continue connecting with you without actually committing to anything specific. So you want to make sure that in the conversations you have leading up to connecting with someone and leading up to more dates, you can get more specific versus more generic about what the relationship is for, what it's about, the destination that you're both headed to. Now, before I share my last two points, my last two statements that might raise some red flags in a guy, if you're a single woman watching this, I'd be willing to bet that you're not fully aware of the root cause, not the symptom, the real reason you're still single. And what I've done is I've taken 13 years of helping women find love in all walks of life with all kinds of love challenges and put some answers together in a simple quiz you can take in about six seconds. If you want to get your answer, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description of this video. You will see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions and you'll get in 60 seconds the answer to the question why you're still single and a custom report is going to share with you based on your specific blind spot. What's the number one thing you can do starting today to reverse the trend you've been on and finally attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time? Number four, sometimes this is when you've been a little longer connecting with someone and the inevitable question comes around. You, you're not seeing more. You haven't had the clear conversations you need to, to really know where this is going. And when you bring the conversation up, the guy says to you, why are you pressuring me? Instead of saying, hey, here's where I'm at. Does this work for you or not? It's like, why are you pressuring me? Like puts it back as if you are the one who has a problem. Why do you need to know where we're going? Why do you need definitions about what this is? Like when he takes that approach, what can you do? If the guy is basically saying that you're wrong for wanting to know more. Now, here's the thing. If this is very early on and you're asking questions about you, he might feel pressured in a way that's not needed. Right? If at the beginning you're asking, where are we going? Well, he doesn't know where you're going, but he knows where he's going with someone. But if you've been with a guy for longer, you should be able to talk about where both of you are going <laughs> because it's a relationship at this point, right? The last thing a guy will say to you when he wants to deflect or when he doesn't want to express what's happening or when he's afraid of saying, I'm not looking for commitment is you're just being needy. You're being too needy. And here's the thing. Does it mean that when a guy says you're being too needy, that's a red flag run for the heels? Not necessarily. Sometimes you might be being too needy. <laughs> but if the situation is one where you're connecting, you're spending time together, you're investing heavily in each other's lives, you're being physically connected, and you're asking about where this is going, that's not being needy, that's being smart. That's being intelligent. That's having self-worth. So don't let a guy tell you that you're being needy when you need information about how to invest your time with him going forward. Hope this is helpful. Hope this is useful. And if you find it that way, it would mean the world to me and to my channel. If you click like and subscribe, that's how I can get to reach more women and help them. If you want to continue learning how you can attract the guy you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, games, or stupid techniques, make sure to go to the next video right here.